I don't know what you heard about me Hi guys, welcome to the third episode of Tourism Talk, an alternative study companion for tourism students. Today we are going to talk about one unfamiliar tourism product that I statistically feel that can be developed as a successful tourism product. Dark tourism. Dark tourism. It is a recent trend of tourism in which people are visiting places associated with death, fear, and suffering such as war memorials, natural disaster sites, and similar other places instead of cute, lovely, and heartwarming destination. In short words, the dark tourism destinations remind of death. They have historical significance and they are important to understand the steps that have brought us to today's world. The circulation of people to places characterized by distress, atrocity, or sadness and pain. As a more specific component of dark tourism, disaster tourism denotes situations where the tourism product is generated within and from the aftermath of a major disaster or traumatic event, according to Kevin Fox, Gotham. This is the spectrum of dark tourism. As you all can see from the picture, dark tourism has a very wide range of spectrum. What I want to propose is something on the darker spectrum. It's education-oriented. For many, it is purely the possibility of being able to emotionally absorb oneself in a place of tragedy. It is important for people to engage and immerse themselves in the past history and culture. By visiting dark tourism sites, we are able to give ourselves time to reflect on history. Dark tourism has close ties with educational tourism, particularly in the cases of darker spectrum of tourism. For many people, this is a dominant if not their main motivation for being a dark tourist. Dark tourism may not be a happy leisure experience. Many people enjoy the educational aspect that comes with it. Visitors of dark tourism sites are wide social demographic group. Whilst other motivation stems from the desire to experience something different or new, I want people to really understand the cause and analyze responsibly on how we have failed at every level of the society and the impact of it to the society itself so that we can reflect and do better in the future as a nation. Introducing Dark Mansion, Malaysian Horror Stories. It gives a lot of benefits in so many aspects. Number 1. Abandoned building can be rejuvenated for tourism purposes. I'm proposing that we should give Mona Fendi's mansion in Shah Alam a makeover. The abandoned mansion is so big, we can actually do something to gain profit of it. Located in strategic place, this abandoned building is surrounded by wide ranges of amenities, attractions, accessibilities, accommodation and activities. Number two, dark tourism also helps to generate income for the community. As we all can see, number of tourists travel to Selangor significantly increasing every year. This means, with proper marketing, a lot of people are going to visit another attraction in Selangor which is the dark mansion. As we can see, growth rate of dark tourism all over the world are blooming Based on the graph, Turkey Dark Tourism growth rate is 338%. This is a very rapid growth rate due to high demand. And in Asian countries, Vietnam and Philippines growth rate are 127% and 62% respectively. We should really consider in exploring and investing in this tourism product to cater the demand and make profit out of it for the betterment of our nation. Since there are only two competitors in Asian countries, our country can really compete with them even at early stage of development if this is done with comprehensive planning and proper implementation. Youth unemployment rate can be decreased and surrounding community economy can be lifted up. In my proposal, 
we are going to need a lot of human labor to maintain, retain, and sustain, and entertain for and in the building. We can hire graduates from event management program to organize the whole tour and we can hire graduates from Aswara to handle live acts performance. Number three, dark tourism provides emotional benefits to both the community and the tourists. This place will give people food for thought when they leave the place. When people are given deeper understanding about certain issues, they tend to realize mistakes that can be avoided in the future. We need to realize that violence, especially against women, are one of the crucial issues that needs to be addressed and solved quickly to create a safe and harmony place for our future generations to live in. The weaknesses I just mentioned is located in residential area. I'm sure something can be done about it, like providing shuttle bus so that there won't be huge amount of cars at that place. Another thing is, dark tourism is still a new idea to the society. The acceptance and perceptive of the society must be taken account. Social impact assessment must be carried out to determine whether it is really acceptable to develop this idea. But in my proposal findings, we can benefit a lot in this development in various aspects. Fun fact, did you know that Taj Mahal is considered as dark tourism sites? According to a myth, Shah Jahan chopped off all of the workers' head and because visiting tomb falls under dark tourism, Taj Mahal is considered as one of the famous dark tourism sites. We can develop this project by prepare related documents and propose to the state government as co-tourism. We then have to propose project paper to local authority, which is in this case MBSA on this project idea. If there's no problem, we can then move to the renovation and construction phase. My vision for activities here can be categorized in, in two packages. The first one, starts with tourisms are welcomed by staff as they arrive with shuttle bus. They are then brief about what they are about to see. Exhibitions on famous criminal cases are for public display. Details that give tourists deeper understanding will in a way shape the future of our country. We must be alert as a society. Life Performance Act can be organized to attract tourists and give them visualization of certain cases. This way, interactions between tourists can be optimized and tourists are given new experiences. Well, it's not actually something new. There is this one town in Mexico. Tourists are brought around this one town, a town well known for gangsterism. There are even real life acting around the town to make the tourists diverge into the environment in the most sensible way. Other than that, we can also screen Dukun Flum and other related documentaries for tourists to enjoy here. This way, we can in a way support our local film industry and gain so much historical knowledge about our country from the documentaries. Visitors are then given chance to take pictures and explore the whole place. They are encouraged to post their pictures on any platform of their social media for higher information reachability. Second package include day trip to the murder site of Mona Fendi at Raut Pahang. Tourists can also stop at Hot Spring at Bentong and enjoy durian on the way there. This way, we can promote our East Coast area tourism. Now, with the era of the globalization, I would recommend that we keep up with the standard. I would suggest that we develop an app. I would call this app Dark Infinity. This app target on dark tourists specifically. We can list out all other dark tourism sites all over the world and we can develop augmented reality features that allow tourists to experience what it feels like to be nearly exactly at the crime scene. Virtual reality on self-defense can also be included for general benefit. 
What are your thoughts on all of this? Leave your comments below. See you on next video. Bye!